all right what's good youtube i'm visual and welcome or welcome back to my channel as y'all can tell by the title today i'm going to be ranking call of duty games you can see on the screen i got the tier maker up let's get right into it if you're coming from the youtube shorts then you already know i got very controversial opinions on some of these games but these are my opinions if you're mad at it it's okay just leave a comment we can we can have a peaceful a peaceful talk you don't have to be hostile but we can take it there if we obviously i've been posting a lot of shorts with different rankings and you know whether it's the guns it's the games it's treyarch versus infinity war different things i rank all of it but i wanted to do a full video so we can kind of talk some things out you know get a deeper understanding we can get on the same page a little bit now i do come from a competitive background i played competitive since what advanced warfare you know and i just stopped playing competitive with vanguard that game is it's not up here, but I'm going to tell you right now, it's the biggest piece of dog shit. It's the biggest piece of dog shit. Bro, that game is terrible. Cold War is also not up here, and of course, the new Modern Warfare 2 is not up here as well. But we'll rank those. We'll just like, I might, I might edit it on the board. We'll see what happens. But at the time of this recording, I am sitting at 983 subscribers. I am, I'm, I'm this close, bro. I'm this close, bro. Listen, a thousand subscribers is going to be insane. It's something that I can't even like, I can't fathom. So if you've been showing love to the channel, I really do appreciate it. If you're new, make sure you hit that like, hit the bell, hit the subscribe button, all that. I do appreciate it, but yeah, come on, let's get into it. I'm, I'm, enough intro, let's get into it. All right, so get that ad off my screen. Thank you. Ooh, oh, it's the wrong one. Chill, chill, chill. We'll start with, we'll just do earliest. Actually, let's go ahead and organize this a little bit because it's all out of whack. It's not really from earliest to, to now, it's more so just kind of like different eras of Call of Duty and whether or not the story ties together. But off tops, I'm going to tell you right now, this is an overall ranking. It's not only campaign, it's not only multiplayer, it's not only zombies or spec ops, it's, it's everything. And I'm going to give you the reasons why. So let's start off early with the first Call of Duty. Now I'll say right now, I think this was only on PC, came out, I don't even know when it came out, but I definitely didn't play this shit. I, I ain't gonna hold you. I put it, it's all right. It's the first one, you know what I mean? Like, can't really rank it too good or too bad because it's the first of its kind. But Call of Duty 2, it's a woo. Man, what the hell is a woo? It's a woo for sure. I don't care what anybody else says. I remember growing up and like going to my buddy's house around the corner. He stayed in the cul-de-sac, name is Austin. Shout out Austin, you're not watching this, but it's okay, if you are, let me know. But anyway, went to his house, a bunch of people in the neighborhood would come over and we play split screen, we like hide the different corners on the, y'all already know what I'm talking about. So off tops, that's there. Now Call of Duty 3 is kind of controversial. A lot of people hate this game, I'm gonna put it here too though. I, I got I got good memories on it. It was the first campaign that I remember playing front to back. The multiplayer, it was the first one that I played multiplayer like online. And I, I'm, I don't know, it's just a dope game. I remember it, it's fire. COD 4 and GOAT status off top, come on. We already know that campaign, one of my favorite, it has the best mission in, honestly, it's up there in gaming history, but definitely in COD history. All gillied up, that's literally, a classic mission i can play it right now like modern warfare 2 this should be obvious it's the biggest piece of dog shit it's the biggest no nah, let me stop modern warfare 2 is easily like one of the most popular games of all time i personally don't think it aged as well as people give credit for it if that same game released now people would hate it it'd be like the worst call of duty ever. you got noob tube spamming one man army so easy to get a nuke because the kill streaks like tack on like it's certain things that it's more it's more so nostalgia you know what i'm saying like it's a great game for its time but it didn't age that well and y'all don't want to y'all don't want to admit it like y'all don't want to admit it it didn't age that well modern warfare 3 shit's just barely boo boo i think that was just a terrible send-off for the original modern warfare storyline the campaign was cool, multiplayer was all right, competitive was okay. I didn't really play too much competitive back then, but I watched it and it was like, uh, I don't know, I wasn't the biggest fan of it. But like I said, this isn't going in order. So obviously World War, World at War came out before Modern Warfare 3, but going with World at War, oh, that's a tough one. I don't, I don't even know if I rank, I don't even know if I rank this on my short. I would probably put it at, I mean, it's all right nah it's all right it's all right like i mean it's all right like zombies was peak in that game not peak but zombie was zombies was amazing in that game the campaign for me was forgettable i played it a few times i actually played it a couple years ago during quarantine i don't know why i got it on pc for free 
and I played it and it was like, uh, and then the multiplayer was kind of dull. Like I said, they did zombies great. Zombies is a classic in that game. If this was zombies only, it look where it's going. It's going up here, but it's not because I said so. Oh man. All right, Black Ops. Uh, another controversial one, I feel like. I think if it was only for me, because I'm doing more of a, not only my opinion, but kind of a consensus in a way, like this isn't going to be super controversial, I don't think. But Black Ops for me, I have probably the most memories out of all the other Call of Duties. I remember you can like edit people's speed. You can go in private match, you can make everybody run super fast. And it was like some things that you can do in private match. They had the original COD points. So you can buy gold, the prestige emblems was fire. This, this one, this one's a woo. It's a woo, it's a woo for sure. Black Ops 2. Obviously. Greatest COD of all time. It's, it's really not a debate. I feel like people want to debate Modern Warfare 2. Black Ops can release at any point in time and it's going to be the best COD ever. It can come out tomorrow and completely sweep the floor. The campaign was great. Zombies, obviously. Everywhere from the base maps to the DLC maps. Zombies was amazing. And then the multiplayer. The multiplayer. Like, if you play Black Ops 2, let me know down in the comments. I'm assuming that if you're watching the video, you probably play Black Ops 2. But god dang, let me drink some water. Yeah. <sighs> Stay hydrated, y'all. But yeah, the multiplayer was amazing. You had the introduction to the pick 10 system that made, like, you know, create a class so much different. The camos were dope. All the DLC camos was fire. Like, Black Ops 2 was just... I think back, like, you can create your own emblems. I mean, you can do that in the first Black Ops 2, but you can do it in Black Ops 2. You get what I'm saying? It's like that that game was so ahead of its time in a sense that there was so much content. And then I feel like it all just kind of fizzled away slowly. Like, sometimes bits and pieces were put into other games, but in Black Ops 2, it was like everything that everybody wanted was in this game, undeniably. You can't, matter of fact, I, I, I'm going to do some arrow above. Those may be GOAT status, but look, look what I'm going to do, y'all. Hold on. Go cap. Thank you. The GOAT. Yeah, you're up here. Let's change your color. I'm going to change your color to blue. Yeah, there you go. The GOAT. It, it belongs in its own realm. But yeah, let me know right now what you think so far. I mean, I think this is pretty solid. People are going to be mad at that Modern Warfare 3 one, but I don't think. Let me know. All right, Black Ops 3. Hmm. Black Ops 3, a lot, a lot of people love zombies in Black Ops 3. I'm never, I've never been the biggest zombies person. It kind of went away after Black Ops 2. I was just the type of person that would play for maybe like a couple matches. And after that, it's kind of over with. A lot of people can grind back to back to back. I can't do it. But Black Ops 3 multiplayer came at a time for me where I needed it. Like the multiplayer was so expansive, I guess you can say. There was just a lot of content. You had the black market system with the supply drops i thought i love supply drops you know what i'm saying i like to gamble bro like me personally i rather supply drop than the battle pass hate me i don't care that's me but the multiplayer was cool this game had a campaign train go boom outcome train go boom outcome train go boom outcome train go boom outcome train go boom that's terrible if it was the campaign alone it'd be down here by itself on an island i'm gonna put it in the woo status you know black ops 3 is my favorite jetpack call of duty the competitive was really good in this game the multiplayer was really good i feel like in the areas that it was really good at it made up for the areas that it wasn't which is really just the campaign and all honestly if you don't like jetpacks it'll probably be worse for you but i didn't i didn't mind them and we got black ops 4 to round off the black ops series we're gonna do cold war but that's a different timeline i guess so that technically doesn't count but as far as black ops 4 we will put you in all right this game was cool i feel like it was kind of unnecessary unneeded i feel like they extended the black ops series because of how well the first three did especially two and three but i feel like they didn't really need to do a black ops 4 it was kind of cool to see the return of the specialist there was no campaign the multiplayer was all right i'm not really too sure about the zombies if i'm gonna be honest but competitive in this game was really good and from what i personally know about other people they said the zombies in this game was pretty good too 
I know they modded the high hell out of Black Ops 3 and 4, so... Or it might have just been Black Ops 3 now that I'm thinking about it. But anyway, Black Ops 4, it's alright. It's a cool game. As you can see, we have five more left, and these are all the games that aren't tied to these other original storylines. Like I said, you got the Modern Warfare original one, you got COD 1 through 3, you got the Black Ops series with World at War. So all these are kind of like standalone, standalone games. I need some more water, y'all. Hold on. <sighs> yes, sir. I'm going to see Black Panther tonight. Oh my God, I'm so excited. Should I do a video on the review? Nope. COD Ghost. This game for me, if I'm going to be, all right, I'm going to be honest. The campaign is the only thing that saves this game for me. The campaign i still want to see the campaign finish it ended on the biggest cliffhanger and i really wanted to see i only wanted a ghost too just for the campaign the multiplayer in this game was so boring it was dull it was foggy that shit was ashy like that shit was you know what i mean but i won't call it the biggest piece of dog shit. like i said the campaign saved it and honestly competitive for this game was really good it has probably my favorite search and destroy out of all the call of duties because of just how the maps played and how how the gunplay was i don't know it just really fit search and destroy and i'm a big search and destroy dude so for that going up to this just barely boo boo bro just going over there advanced warfare another controversial pick this was the first jetpack call of duty the first iteration it came out with the um with the new gen consoles with the xbox one and ps4 they had just made the transition if i'm not mistaken and I personally, I, I like the Advanced Warfare, I'm not gonna lie, like, the game was cool. You know, I don't think it aged that well just because the jetpacks were so, so stiff, you know what I'm saying? Like, jetpacking around felt too robotic, it didn't feel fluid like Black Ops 3, or even like an Infinite Warfare, but I think the game was fun, the campaign was really good again. I think this was Sledgehammer's first standalone Call of Duty, and for it to be a jetpack game and be so left field, and they also put supply drops in this game for the first time too, which I used to love watching like T Martin's old supply drop opening videos, him and um him and Hollow. Not to be confused with my boy Hollow World. Go ahead and hit that sub for my boy real quick. Thank you. I forgot Hollow Point. That's used to be his name. It's just Hollow now. But um yeah, I used to watch their vids all the time on Advanced Warfare. GBs and shit. Yeah, I'm gonna put I'm gonna put you in. You're alright. You're alright. You're alright with me. You know, you're alright with me. You see this? I'm gonna go ahead and put you down here. I don't even want to talk about that damn game. Infinite Warfare is so bad. I don't care that the campaign was good. Listen, I'm a hypocrite now. The campaign in Infinite Warfare was cool. That game was terrible, bro. Terrible. Yeah. We ain't even gonna talk about it. Next, World War II. You were just as bad. Like now, Call of Duty World War II came right after Infinite Warfare, and it was literally just polar 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 opposites, bro. You got Star Wars Space Station Call of Duty, and then you got history class call of duty like I ain't, ain't nobody trying to play it the sniping in this game was good the campaign was immersive i won't put you there that's that's now that i'm talking it out i'll put you at just barely boo boo i mean it's all oh wow you see this is why we're talking through it i hear you i see you you're already you're probably already typing world war ii was cool though because you had the whole headquarter like bro if that's how you feel then let me know i ain't judging just don't judge me because we're not judging nobody we, we're, we're a family now that you're watching my video we're a family and i appreciate you this game is all right a lot of people go back and play world war ii i personally don't know why who is on that highway making noise bro i think the game for me was super boring i competed exclusively in this game so i grinded pubs just to like get used to the game and how it felt i play every campaign before i jump into multiplayer but i played this game competitively damn near 24 7 because i was in school competing so like i kind of know the ins and outs of this game and because of that i'm kind of harsh but after talking through it i can say it's all right i can say it's cool now we got modern warfare mm, cod 2019 the next era of the modern warfare series the modern warfare timeline i think this game really set the precedent for what call of duty is gonna be obviously you have warzone and yes warzone counts towards this game because same engine same guns at first and really the same gameplay like you gotta count warzone with modern warfare 2019 and i don't think it's goat status now but i can definitely say when we're like five more years down the line and we're thinking about 
you know, and people aren't really talking about the original Modern Warfare series, they're talking about the new iteration, it's gonna end up up in GOAT status. I'll put it in Woo for right now. Woo! You know what I'm saying? I'll put it there for right now. I'm pretty sure that in the future, this game is gonna end up in GOAT status. For me though, the campaign, oh my gosh, the campaign in this game was cinematic. It was good. The new Captain Price is like my favorite Call of Duty character. This game was just fire, you know what I mean? It was fire. So let's imagine that there's a Cold War down here and we'll go ahead and rank that. Call of Duty Cold War, Black Ops Cold War, I should say, has my favorite campaign of all time. If this was campaigns only, I'd throw Cold War in the GOAT status. No, I'd throw it in the GOAT. If this was campaign only, I'd throw Cold War in the GOAT because I like the fact that they implemented the, the minor decision makings in that game. It wasn't completely you know like a telltale game or nothing like that but it was definitely like it kind of broke up the linear monotonous feel that call of duty used to have and for that i definitely appreciate it the ending was amazing like the mission yeah that that game was the goat as far as campaign as far as the multiplayer and zombies you know i competed in that game briefly as well no i pretty much competed that whole game i would say i was graduating college damn i'm old what i need a need a sip of this water for that what the hell this game came out the year that I graduated college, so I didn't have too much time to really play it like I probably would have if it came out earlier. But I can definitely say that the multiplayer wasn't bad. You know, they brought back a lot of Black Ops 2 maps, Black Ops 1 maps too. Like they brought back a lot of maps that people love. And I feel like it was more of a fan service to the Black Ops series. Like, yeah, they said it in Cold War, but the game didn't feel old. It didn't feel dated. It felt fresh, the gunplay felt good. It kind of took what Modern Warfare did with this engine and Treyarch kind of built their own engine around it. I still feel like it was a little too arcadey. It, it kind of deviated from that, that raw gunplay that you felt from Modern Warfare 2019, but I do think that it was a good game and it'll end up being loved, you know, down the line too, as far as the multiplayer goes. Like they did a good job kind of recreating that original Black Ops 2, you know, Feel behind their game so for that it would definitely go in the woo in the woo no pop smoke rip and now we have vanguard again it's not up here but i'll probably just edit it in you know in post but vanguard it's, it's tied with infinite warfare with how bad you are like i have so much i have like genuine hate towards that game like i don't know why i mean i do know why it's trash the game is terrible the campaign was not good and that's kind of like a big tell from like a big thing for me like if the campaign's not good i already expect the game to be trash black ops 4 did it right just don't put a campaign in there black ops 3 is the only exception because the campaign was terrible but the multiplayer was just so like everything was so fluid in that game i already talked about that but with vanguard i feel like it did i can safely say vanguard did everything wrong they honestly set, they set, they set, they set, what's, what's they called? Treyarch? No, no, no. They honestly set Sledgehammer up with, with that game. It should have never came out. I love the fact that they're doing the two year cycle, but apparently they're talking about like next year in 2023, there's going to be another $70 DLC pack. Bro, save that. We don't, we don't, we don't want that. We already spent $70 on the damn game. Now we're about to spend $10 on the battle pass and you want $70 next year, bro? I'm gonna end up paying it. I'm just mad. I'm just mad now. That's all it is. I'm gonna end up paying it though. Damn. But yeah, Vanguard, that, that game is boo-boo. That, that game is tied for the biggest, I don't know, like, hold on. I'll do you one better. Watch this. No, 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 go back. Absolute, absolute boo-boo juice. That's where I'm putting it. So in post a post visual, put it down there because that's where it belongs and that's where it's gonna stay. That game is terrible. And obviously we have Modern Warfare 2 2022, the new game that just came out. I don't have a full opinion on it. The game right now, it feels cool. We're about what, three, two weeks in? About to hit season one in a little bit. And the game feels good, you know? I can't I can't be mad at it. It feels like they properly built off of what, you know, Modern Warfare 2019 did. I don't even know if I can rank it. I can't rank it until Warzone 2 and DMZ comes out because just how Warzone goes in Modern Warfare 2019, Warzone 2.0 and DMZ goes into Modern Warfare 2. So, but yeah, I think that covers all the Call of Duties. I don't think I missed one. We got like COD Online and what, COD Mobile. Those are outliers, but those are honestly goaded games because they're literally a like a, a compilation or what do you want to call it? Like a conglomeration, assimilation, a, a 
excitation. I don't know. I don't know the word, but it's literally all the Call of Duties put together. And I feel like that's what they should do. They should just make Call of Duty. Like after they finish this Modern Warfare series, they should just make a Call of Duty. But yeah, like I said, I did a lot of shorts on ranking Call of Duties in different sectors. I was ranking campaigns and multiplayers and zombies and shit. I just wanted to do a full video kind of breaking down at least how I feel about it. It's kind of taking a consensus view, but it's also my opinion. I don't know, this is just how I feel. It's my experience with Call of Duty. And you know, if you like it, you know, let me know. If you don't like the list, let me know, but like the video, cause I appreciate you and I love you. Like, you hear me? I do, I really do, for real. But yeah, before you go, make sure you hit that sub button, hit the bell so you never miss when I post a video. But yeah, ladies and gentlemen, I do appreciate it. It's been your boy, I'm Visual.